There are some impressive rookies in Major League Baseball right now. We talk about it every single year, but more and more guys are coming up as rookies and making a huge impact in the regular season and in the postseason. So why not highlight some of the guys while the season is early, some of the rookies who have been playing really, really good baseball. Now we've talked about a couple of these guys. You know Yerman, you know Akil Badu are both going to be in today's video because let's be honest, they're not just some of the best and hottest rookies in baseball right now. They're one of the best and hottest players in this early season. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over 10 of the hottest slash best rookies in Major League Baseball right now. Not necessarily the guys who will end up being the best from this rookie class, but the guys who are making the biggest impact for their teams in this current season and having the best numbers or stats. So as always, if you guys do enjoy these videos, you like to see this listicle kind of stuff on the channel, make sure to drop a like on it. It really does help support the channel. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content. If you love baseball, I need you to click that sub button and join the team. Get in the comments section down below. Let me know what rookies I snubbed from today's video. Who do you think deserves a little more? More love. Drop me a follow on all my social media, especially my Twitch, Giraffe Neck Mark. If you guys like watching it, it will be the show. I'm going to be streaming it over there. Twitch.tv slash Giraffe Neck Mark. Links in the description, as well as to all my other social media. I want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor for the video, Tennis Clash. A free mobile PvP tennis sports game with super high-end graphics and a pure fun playing experience. It combines live PvP games against real players, as well as some RPG elements. You're going to get hooked. It's free to play and it's available on Android and iOS, and this game has become a massive massive hit with over 60 million downloads worldwide. Not to mention, check out the crazy high score it's got in the App Store, 4.7 and 4.2 stars. So make sure you guys download it for free from the links in the description or scan the QR code to help support the channel and you get 200 gems and 500 gold for free. What I love the most about this game is the different characters as well. I get to decide what ability I want to focus on, forehand, backhand, agility. And if that's not enough, there's a really cool battle pass that can help you progress throughout the game and get extra rewards for faster progression. So again, make sure you download Download Tennis Clash. Link is in the description down below. Make sure you click it or scan the QR code and you will get 200 gems and 500 gold for help supporting my channel. Even play Tennis Clash while you're watching this video and let me know how you do in the comment section below. Good luck and I'll see you guys there. For the first impressive slash best slash hottest rookie in Major League Baseball, Los Angeles Dodgers, I mean, they just keep doing it. Zach McKinstry, a guy you probably literally haven't heard of, not a highly touted prospect, not someone that's super hyped up, and yet the Dodgers continue to do it. They call up another player from their farm system and he just produces at the major league level. So far in 12 games, McKinstry's had 37 at-bats, 11 hits, scored 6 runs, 4 doubles, 3 homers, 11 RBIs, 2 walks to 6 strikeouts, hitting 297 with a 325 on base, 649 slugging, and 974 OPS. We saw him hit the inside the park home run against the Colorado Rockies. He's a good little player playing the outfield, having a lot more of an impact than you ever expected. A really solid bat thus far, and has been able to be a really nice left-handed bat for them as well, getting some decent playing time. Right now among rookies, he's one of the better ones in baseball. For an entire season, it's going to be tough 33rd round pick out of Central Michigan University in Michigan in 2016, but I'm really glad to see this guy's playing so well. This is just what the Dodgers do. They have these kind of underrated, unknown players, and at 25, 26 years old, they come up and they have great seasons. So would it surprise me if he has a great season? No, he's on the Dodgers. That's just what they do. Zach McKinstry, first rookie in the best slash hottest rookies of the year so far video. Oh my God, for this next rookie, I can't even believe it. Philip Evans of the Pittsburgh Pirates took over for one of the better rookies in baseball right now, Key Brian Hayes, who's of course hurt. He stepped up and he has been incredible. You might be wondering why I can't believe it. Well, Philip Evans was a guy in the Mets farm system for a long time, never really got a shot, was blocked by guys like David Wright. And then once he started to really kind of get that opportunity, he just wasn't really that great. Only played 34 games as a Met in two seasons and had a 606 OPS. Well, so far with the Pirates in 11 games, 38 at bats, eight runs scored, 13 hits, two doubles, three home runs, five RBIs, four walks and five strikeouts with a 340 average, 444 on base, 632 slugging, and 1076 OPS. I'm not going to lie, I never really saw this coming from Phil Evans. He had a little stretch with the Mets in 2017 where like he did hit 300 in a 19 game stretch, but we never really saw the power like it's coming along with Pittsburgh right now. He wasn't particularly that strong of a fielder and he's just having a great season for Pittsburgh. So while he has never really produced like this for the Mets, I'm really glad to see that he's getting the chance in Pittsburgh and playing really well. Even in 11 games last year with them, he had a 932 OPS. So right now in 22 games, 90 he played appearances with the Pirates, 351, 444, 558, and 1003 OPS. That's an incredible slash line, even in a small sample size. Really happy for Philip Evans. Glad to see him playing well. And the Pirates need it. Playing some decent baseball, beating the Padres. Philip Evans is a big reason why. Now for the first pitcher in today's video, one of the hottest rookies in the league, Seattle Mariners relief pitcher, Will Vest out of Nacogdoches, Stephen F. Austin in Texas. Will Vest is particularly interesting as well because he was a Rule 5 pick, one of the multiple Rule 5 
have picks featured in today's video. Best has made six appearances thus far over the season, eight and a third innings pitched, extremely small sample size, but hey, he's doing really well. 1.08 ERA, five Ks, four walks, five hits, two runs, one earned, and he hasn't given up a home run. His stuff isn't particularly insane, like a mid 90s fastball, changeup and slider are about the same speed, and his spin rate isn't incredible, but right now he's getting production. Now, Will Vest is going to be one of the guys on this list that I don't think is going to be able to get to keep up how well he's pitching over the entire season. He just doesn't have the stuff to do that. But right now in Major League Baseball, he's performing really well. And for a Rule 5 pick, I love the story. I got to give Will Vest some credit here. Shout out to the Seattle Mariners, first place team in the AL West. Will Vest helping them be the best in the West. The Seattle Mariners, that is, first place in the West. And Will Vest is a part of it. Fourth rookie in today's video. I love how this guy pitches Michael Kopech of the Chicago White Sox. So glad to see him back healthy, healthy in the head, healthy with the arm, and pitching absolutely lights out. For those of you who don't know, Michael Kopech opted out of the 2020 season, coming back from Tommy John surgery, as well as his head just wasn't in the right place. Had to take care of a few personal things, but it's good to see that he's back healthy, both mentally and physically, because this kid is special. He throws 100 miles an hour, has devastating breaking pitches, and he's been showing it in the 2021 season. In four appearances, seven and two thirds innings, a 1.17 ERA, he's only allowed two hits, one earned run, 13 strikeouts to three walks, a whip at 0 0.650, and opponents are hitting 0 0.077 against him. One of the nastiest pitchers, honestly, that we might see in baseball this year. The stuff that he has jumps off the page. He's filthy, and at some point, he is going to become a starting pitcher for the White Sox. He is that good. His stuff is too good to just be used out of the bullpen. You can get six or seven innings out of him on a given night and get insane value. You're talking Tyler Glasnow ceiling type stuff. He's just really, really good. They're babying him a little bit. They want to make sure that he comes back healthy, and it's smart. You don't need him to be an ace right now in that rotation just yet for the White Sox, but in the years coming, he will be, and right now, he's going to be one of their best arms out of the bullpen, and he's going to be used in high leverage situations. He's just sick, Michael Kopech. Happy to see him playing really well. You guys are probably sick and tired of hearing about him, but Akil Badu comes in as the fifth rookie in today's video. We got to keep talking about Akil Badu because he just keeps doing it well. Akil Badu can do. He is Akil Badu. Cheesy puns again. 10 games, 31 at bats, 10 hits, 5 runs scored, 2 doubles, a triple, 4 homers, 11 RBIs, not walking at all, only one walk, and has struck out 11 times, which is a little high, but a 323 average, 333 on base, 893 slugging, gives him an OPS at 1172. That's absolutely fantastic. You've probably been seeing Fuzzy hype him up. He's the president of the Kiel Badu fan club. Akil Badu has been legit for the Tigers this year. He's a great athlete, another rule five pick, second one in this video, like I said, and he's just balling out. He's playing himself into more and more playing time in Detroit, and we know that AJ Hinch will play the hot hand. So I'm happy to see Akil Badu still playing well. Mentioned him in the video talking about hottest hitters earlier this week, but Akil Badu has just been fantastic still for the Tigers, and I'm riding the hype train as long as it lasts. Akil Badu, fifth player in today's video. For the sixth player, we're heading out west again. Texas Rangers didn't expect to say it, but Kohei Arihara pitching really well for the Rangers thus far. Casually like their best starting pitcher, maybe? Kohei Arihara came over from the MPB this past offseason in Japan, and he's looked really strong with, I don't want to say low expectations, but I don't think people expect him to be as strong as he has been thus far in the early season. Three appearances, 14 and two thirds innings pitched, has a 3.07 ERA, a whip at 1.02. He's getting hit a little bit, giving up a few hits, 2.55 average. Opponents are hitting 255 against him, and he has given up 14 hits in those 14 and two thirds innings, but he's got no walks, only one walk over that time, seven strikeouts, one home run, five earned runs. He's pitching pretty solid. This isn't a guy who's going to be a Cy Young candidate at any point in his career. He doesn't have the greatest stuff in the game, but he's a pretty good pitcher and, and gives the Rangers at least a chance to win every five days. And somebody that I think you could watch out for, and maybe if you're a fantasy guy, grab if you need a spot start. Koei Arihara is giving the Rangers quality starts, giving him a chance to win. And he's like a rookie veteran type presence in that. He's not really a rookie. He's not that young, but it is his first year in the majors and he's pitching well. So Koei Arihara makes today's video as one of the more impressive rookies thus far this season. Now to double up on a guy that we've included in another video, again, the seventh rookie in today's video, Yerman Mercedes. You know, we can't stop talking about Yerman because Yerman just doesn't stop. He hit a ball the other night, like 485 feet, absolutely crushed it. I mean, the ball was obliterated. He goes up to the plate, takes war hacks, and is still putting up crazy good numbers. 11 games, 42 at bats, 20 hits, 20 hits in major league baseball. Unbelievable. Six runs, four doubles, three homers, 10 RBIs, walked four times, struck out four times, hitting 476 with a 522 on base, 786 slugging, 1307 OPS. Yerman, my guy, take it easy on everybody. It's not MLB the show. This is real life and you're putting up video game like numbers through 11 games. The White Sox can't keep him out of the lineup. He's just too good. Goes up there with his short little stocky body, takes war hacks and hits the ball super, super hard and super far. Love watching Yerman play and I hope he continues it for the entire season. I want to see Yerman for rookie of the year in the American League. He keeps it up. Oh, he's going to lock it up easily. Yerman Mercedes, absolute
absolute beast. For the eighth rookie in today's video, another really fun player to watch for a little bit different reasons, Jazz Chisholm of the Miami Marlins. Jazz Chisholm, of course, came over in the Zach Gallon trade, and it seemed like it might have been a little lopsided, but Jazz is showing that he's a really exciting player and really talented at the major league level. So far in 10 games this season, Jazz has 31 at-bats, 8 hits, 5 runs, 3 doubles, a triple, 2 home runs, 5 RBIs, 7 walks, which is really impressive in the amount of plate appearances that it has this season, 11 strikeouts, so he's kind of a 3 true outcome guy, home run, walk, strikeout, which is weird from a middle infield position. He also steals bases, stole 3 of them this year, 258 average, 385 on base, 613 slugging, gives him a 998 OPS, just shy of 1,000. I saw him on Saturday, hit a mammoth home run against Jacob deGrom on a fastball that was 100 miles an hour out of the zone. The talent is through the roof for Jazz Chisholm. It's just a matter of can he play consistently at the major league level? And so far through these 10 games, he's proving he is very much a major league baseball player and can do it at a consistent level. Strikeouts are always going to be a concern for him and his glove, it's got to get a little more consistent, but the bat is there. He's got the pop. He's got the eye. He's got the discipline. He has seven walks. Jazz Chisholm, a really good player, really fun, exciting player, and he's got a great personality. Just wish he wasn't on the Marlins. Again, I want to root for this guy, but they always got to be on teams I got to root against. Jazz still one of the more impressive rookies this year. Next up, ninth rookie of today's video, his teammate, Trevor Rogers of the Miami Marlins. Same thing. That Saturday game against Jake DeGrom, Trevor Rogers was doing special stuff. He has got electric stuff from the left-hand side on the mound. Like, this is a dude who throws, like, mid to high 90s. His fastball's averaging 96 this year with a devastating slider at 83, a good changeup at 87. Trevor Rogers is a really good pitcher. While the exit velos are high on him, he's definitely a little bit of a fly ball pitcher who can be hit hard. You can't deny how good his stuff is. He's in the 99th percentile in whiff rate, and he has a 40% K rate right now. That's gross. Numbers-wise, Trevor Rogers has made three starts, 15 innings pitched, a 2-4 ERA, a whip at 1.13, and opponents are hitting 157 against them. 15 innings, 8 hits, 5 runs, 4 of them being earned, 1 home run, 9 walks, 23 strikeouts. That's an insane rate. Trevor Rogers has filthy stuff. He shut down the Mets the other day, and watching him in person going up against Jacob deGrom, while Jacob deGrom can't lose that game and it wasn't his fault, Trevor Rogers really pitched an incredible game that Saturday, and has been pitching really well this season, which is why he makes it on the Impressive Rookies video. He's just truly been impressive. And then for the last and final player, number 10, Casey Mize of the Detroit Tigers. Tigers fans, you gotta be so excited. You also, like the Marlins, had two players in today's video, a hitter and a pitcher. And Casey Mize as your former number one overall pick. You're excited to see that he's playing well. People were getting a little worried last year. He didn't look great, but so far he's looking really strong. Two starts, 11 innings pitched, a .82 ERA, a whip at 1.18, and opponents are hitting 220 against him. So some of them are good, some of them are bad, but overall you can see Casey Mize. He was the number one overall pick for a reason. He's got really, really good stuff. He's a good pitcher. 11 innings, nine hits, one earned run, four walks, nine strikeouts. For Mize last year, a big problem was his command. He was walking a lot of batters, giving up a lot of home runs, but this year he's been commanding the strike zone a lot better. And while the strikeouts aren't up, the strikeout to walk ratio is, and he's just not giving up home runs. That's big. His fastball sitting 95. People were concerned about his velo, but it's sitting 95. Great slider, good curveball, and that split finger. Oh man, the split finger is just so good. So Casey Mize, while it maybe took him a little bit longer, even though he was only drafted a couple years ago, I mean, 2018, he was the number one overall pick. And in 2021, he's showing that he can be that number one overall pick hype that the Tigers thought they were getting and maybe be an ace of this staff one day. Casey Mize, SEC, Auburn, really impressive start to his rookie season this year. So those are the 10 best slash hottest rookies in Major League Baseball so far in the 2021 season. I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Who did I forget? Who is your favorite on the list? You know who I'm picking. It's gonna be the GOAT, Yerman Mercedes, the dude. He's got a special place in my heart. I love me some Yerman. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it, as well as subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. It really does help me out, guys. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash giraffeneckmark, where we'll be talking about MLB The Show and playing the game all week and probably all year long. Thank you so much for watching. You guys know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. This is my most recent upload. Click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye!